So this is a shoe that I've been waiting on for a while since I seen the initial pictures. Uh, I think this is like the best colorway out of the pack. I think it's three colorways, maybe. I don't know if they're going to be like a, a release or like a sample, friends and family, whatever. But this particular colorway, yeah, this is the one. And uh, this is definitely the, the best collab he's dropped since the Nike collab. So we have the Adidas and Sean Weatherspoon or Ketro. I mean, nothing crazy with the box. You know, the Nike collab is a pretty crazy box, man. This one is, you know, subpar in my opinion. But hey, hopefully the shoe is better than the box. Man. So you get extra laces, which is kind of dope. Get those blue laces in there. Whew. The shoe is fire, man. I'm not even going to lie to see. I thought it was like a new silhouette, but apparently um, it's just a collab on the colorway, not the actual shoe. But he did. It looked like he added some um, of his own design elements in there. So let's go ahead and give you a close-up of the shoe real quick. That's what y'all came here for. There we go. Like the colorway and everything is just dope to me. Personally, I know a lot of people were calling these trash, and that might have been why it was such an easy cop on the confirm app. This is the first time I actually looked on the confirm app since you know the <laughs> Adidas and Kanye you know kind of severed their relationship. But you know, we're not here for all that. So let's go ahead and get into the insole. So we got that cork insole, which is a nice touch. I believe this is like a Nike design element with the cork. I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe that Adidas or anyone else has used the cork in any of their designs. And then you get that logo on the heel. And on the inside, you got a lot of padding. Um, it reminds me, I want to say like it reminds me of the Off-White Fives, you know, on the ankle or the heel. You see like it has the padding right there. And you also have it on the inside as well. I mean, I'm not sure if that, like, the regular or Ketro has that, but these do. Then you get the logo again right on the tongue. And then there's, like, a corduroy, yeah, corduroy patch. I don't know if it's coming through. And, like, a tan colorway, and it has or Ketro stitched in. It's going to focus. I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, that pink mesh is dope. Then you get that hint of orange, I guess, or infrared right there on the side as well. A lot of colors going on, man. Like the pink. I'm a fan of that pink mesh going up the actual tongue as well as on the toe box. And you got that blue outline. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a W. And then you have the SW. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Looks like you have the SW embroidered right there. There we go. You see the SW right there. Hopefully you can, that's coming through. But then it looks like it has that W, so I don't know if that could be like, you know, an extra detail for Sean. And then you have the three stripes on the side. I think that might be my favorite part. That's pretty dope, man. Because aside from that, you might think this is a New Balance sneaker, man. It's like this bottom, for whatever reason, reminds me of like the 2002R or like the, the 1960R or whatever the numbers are now. But it looks like a New Balance shoe. Let me know down in the comments if you agree. But yeah, it's crazy. You got corduroy. Close to the mud guard as well. I know that's popping up. Yeah, so you got corduroy. You got uh, like a canvas material. You got the mesh, of course. There's a lot of corduroy mesh, man. Um, canvas. No leather on these from what I can see. Yeah, no, yeah, no leather on these at all. This is a dope shoe, man. You got the cream outsole. With the hits of pink on it as well. Then you have like a forest green on the back heel. Then that infrared is coming through again. Um, also, nothing crazy. Just got like different pops of color, man. But I don't know what it is about this shoe, but like, this is tough. I'm definitely a big fan. This is another like spring fall colorway probably. I guess that's why they drop now, you know, January. I guess you you drop your springtime stuff, you know, January, February, just to beat the wave, I guess. 
But according to Sizing, um, I, I watched a couple reviews on like the general release um, Oketros, and everybody said they went true to size. So I stuck with the 12. Hopefully these work. Um, you might be seeing some B-roll of either the close-up of the shoe or like an on-foot. If you see the on-foot B-roll, then yeah, stick true to size. <laughs> size and recommendations after like tr I try these on and everything but overall man I I think they definitely uh they got a winner right here or this colorway at least I like the shoe model of course and then the colorway just sets it off aside from the three stripes like on the toe like from far away you probably won't know what this shoe is and that's what I kind of I like it and I don't like it like sometimes I just want to have something where like you it looks different looks unique you don't know what it is, but at the same time, I don't want something where you would, like, mistake it for something else, if that makes sense. But, yeah, these, these, are, def these are definitely dope, man. Uh, how y'all feel about them in the comments, man? Let me know. Were you able to cop? This was a pretty easy cop, man. The crazy thing is, I forgot about it. Like, I, um, I answered the raffle on Confirm, like, as soon as it opened. So, it was, like, four days, I want to say, four or five days that the raffle was up. And the morning of... I, I believe I was editing and trying to upload other YouTube videos. So uh, the next video you probably see after this, I say is like the first official unboxing of 2023. And at the time it was, but then, you know, I ended up getting these and these, you know, came yesterday. So this is going to be the first official unboxing. But yeah, so I was uploading and editing those. And then um, I think the, the raffle ended at like 1030. So close to like 11 or something, I finally like looked at my phone because, you know, I was in editing mode. And then I seen the charge. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I got him. Bet. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I forgot about him technically, but, you know, it's all good. I got him. I wanted him. Happy to get him. So, yeah, hopefully uh, you like this review. Hopefully, um, if you didn't know about this shoe, now that you know, thanks to me. But I don't know um, what the prices are. I believe retail was 160 It was 150 or 160 so you know it's kind of standard down these days for any shoe, but yeah, I don't I don't know if the resale market is crazy. So if you like them and you want them and you can afford to, I would definitely go ahead and hop on these. Not sure if they're gonna do a wider release or what, because this was just on confirmed app. So maybe different boutiques might start dropping these in the near future. Not sure. Just do your research, man. But overall, Sean, you got another one. I appreciate y'all for watching.